everyone. I'm Madhuri from the Journalism Department, Usmania University. We have with us Ramyashri and Hafiz Rahman, who are the students of the Journalism Department. COVID-19 has been so devastating. The year 2020 was a difficult year for our survival. As our Prime Minister has said, Jaan hai to jahan hai, emphasizing on the importance of our survival. Many people have lost their lives due to COVID-19. And at the same time, there are many people who have been recovered from COVID-19. So Ramishri and Hafiz Rahman are the students of the journalism department who are infected with COVID-19 and have recovered from it. So let us know about their experiences. Hi Ramya, hi Hafiz. Hi Madhuri. So Ramya, we'll begin with you. Yeah. When did you realize that you were infected with the virus? I was initially, uh, I had no symptoms, but uh, my brother was sick. We were not sure if he was COVID or not, but we made sure that he would isolate. But then uh, two days later, my dad was also uh, worsening with his symptoms and we got our test done at our public, uh, primary health center. Okay. And their reports were uh, delayed and mine was tested positive. So I had to isolate myself and they were separately isolating. We didn't realize that my father was positive, uh, but then he was already positive for over a fortnight. Okay. He was not showing his symptoms. Uh, so that is when we all isolated and I panicked a lot in the beginning. Okay, so you got tested before you had the symptoms of COVID? Uh, Is that? Uh, we already were, uh, we were just expecting there is something wrong in the family. So we thought we'd better get, get tested. Test. Okay, that's good. Yeah. So Hafiz, what would you so, like to say on this? Yeah, my experience is a uh, little bit different, but I am feeling discomfort uh, nearly seven or eight days and I have little bit fever and cough. Okay. okay the fever is not that much uh, high in Celsius. So I think that may be something uh, unusual. So I have suggested with my doctor and he suggested me to test, uh, complete my test. Also, if possible, if I don't go for test, then uh, you can go for your x-ray. So they can see my uh, uh, cyst, that is there any kind of... Uh, unusual things are there or not. So I think that it is better to go for test. For the COVID test, yeah, yes. COVID test. So I have gone for test and after three days I uh, like call, I got a call from like, uh, this is initially is like dealing by a uh, detective, okay. Like uh, they are getting result. When the test is over that time they, initially they are getting result and they are calling that you have been tested positive so try to be isolated. Isolated, don't, uh, yeah. yes. Don't uh, like uh, interact with your family. Uh, like next 13 or 14 days, take yourself isolate, and uh, then from my hospital they have called me and they given uh, they have given me a number that if you feel anything uneasy or uh, discomfort okay. or seriousness, then obviously call with us and we will. Uh, like They'll assist contact, you with yeah. it. Yes. Like and from that day, I uh, I uh, I stayed in my house okay. uh, around 13 or 14 days. Okay. Okay, like so it showed you the symptoms of COVID, like yeah, you had fever yeah. and cough and cough, then... little bit cough and uh, like uh, a little bit fever, but okay. not that much serious actually. I think, and it's not like I have taken some initial medicine and uh, it's not recovered by this medicine. So I think that maybe some, there is something. There is something and then you realize that you should go for the COVID yeah, yeah, test. COVID test yes. Okay, no so like both no, of you... Know, like. But fever and cough I have. Okay, yes. so what were the first thoughts that came to your mind when you got to know that you are COVID positive? I, what was I the initial thing? In the beginning because uh, I I was already making myself aware that this is the situation and it is yet to happen uh, because we already had somebody who is uh, a suspect. So uh, the first thing that came to my mind is I might not be as serious as uh, it is being projected in the mainstream media, but I will come back strong. But uh, I was worried about my father who is in his late 40s. So okay. uh, uh, that had a toll on me. And he was admitted to the hospital and he came back strong. But then the fight was very difficult. Easy. Yes. The struggle is real, I must say. Definitely, I can yes. understand. So, Hafiz, so how was the, you? Uh, like, experience is nearly same. Uh, like, I was staying in my house and that was in uh, a village actually. So, and also my father, like, uh, old age, so I am like thinking more about them that they have been affected by me or not. And as I am staying in village, so there is 
a lot of rumors coming okay okay yes and when the uh, test result comes then easily it comes to our village also that this guy has been affected from okay. this village so yeah people are uh, like uh, uh, spreading such kind of rumors, rumors and actually, and yeah, with not me i know that i have uh, uh, i am feeling that yeah i have been affected but that is not that much serious as i think that i will be recovered and what i am actually facing that village people are actually facing like thinking more actually and they are spreading more so it's kind of uh, discomfort and yeah uh, the overall um, overall experience is not that much uh, like good but yeah uh, i recovered later also and i stayed in there. okay that's great yeah. so ramya like did you used to go for online consultation or the physician no uh, we were actually suspecting a positive test so we got ourselves tested in a phc and then uh, we visited a private hospital then uh, we were asked to isolate us. since it was mild we were asked to isolate at home and my father was admitted to the hospital okay with home isolation were you given any kind of medicines or prescriptions to be yeah, taken i was given a hcv that is like immediate okay. and then i was on vitamin d uh, they were other uh, you know antibiotics i was on and then i, I was going with these uh, the garelu nuske i must say okay <laughs> okay because yes with this covid there have been many rumors and people have been yeah. following such yeah. garelu nuske yes yeah. so hafiz what about you uh, like they are consulting over phone with us like from my um, from government hospital the doc- they have assigned doctor actually okay but they have uh, like separated village wise and they assign doctor for like three or four village one doctor okay so the doctor is like consulting with me over phone and uh, he is giving medicine and i also like when i have called him and he received him i am facing any problem so he is giving uh, my suggestion over phone and he is giving medicine and based on his suggestion i actually buy this medicine i have taken this type of medicine that was initial medicine like there is no like uh, um sus- uh, like especially there is no medicine for covid for covid 19 yes the medicine is if you have fever then they have given you a medicine for fever if you have cough they have they give you medicines for cough if you have a severe fever then they will give you antibiotic like this but okay. i don't have severe fever so they have given me this initial medicine only okay so why did you prefer home quarantine rather than getting hospitalized i was i was advised to do so so i just did it but then uh, i was strictly Uh, there were no follow ups as such as how hafiz had but then uh, i was doing my steam inhalation i had a chart diet chart okay. and a, you know time table yes, uh, yes. pasted on my wall and i was following that i made my brother follow it and okay. i was again following up my father how he is doing on the okay. floor of uh, the hospital i talked to the dietitian as well i was uh, you know juggling with so many things so many and also things, i yes. had to take my online classes okay yeah i was juggling with so many uh, things and also uh, my friends also called me to uh, make sure if i was do- doing well how was my dad doing and all that okay yeah. so can you give us some more detail things about what was the routine that you were following routine uh, i would wake up early then uh, i would uh, do my mouth gargling gargling after the after my brushing then i would go with a uh, you know concoction the ginger concoction okay then i would go for my vitamin d in the morning uh you'll have to uh, take your first set of medicines after a slight breakfast it shouldn't be heavy uh then you should go for your uh, breakfast which is heavier and that follows with your antibiotics okay then you should go with your lunch that is mildly uh, you know i i made sure that i will uh, do a meal then uh, a snack meal snack meal snack and okay. night then in the evening i would take my classes online classes okay and my friends would call me that would be and i would uh, do steam in- inhalation twice a day okay yeah. so that was the routine you followed yeah, to get routine. cured okay what about you hafiz any specific uh, diet or no, kind of things like, yeah, i have also taken this same um, inhalation and i didn't take any special diet I, as usual i have taken before that thing also i am continuing i'm continuing this thing the thing is that uh, i have taken more inhalation maybe three or four times okay as much as possible i have uh, i have taken this, okay this that's all so what kind of adjustments did you all had to make with your family members the kind of isolation you all did with yeah. your social yeah, circle I, I yeah. uh, we already had a vacant home just next to my place so we rented that place 
and uh, it had five rooms so okay. and two washrooms so we had to uh, i had to wash my clothes uh, i made sure my brother did that and uh, yeah that's how because uh, when you're on a regular day you won't bother much about your chores and all that when you're isolated you'll have to wash your utensils you'll have to do your laundry everything on your own yeah, yes everything I, even the food is served from a distance so i'll have to make sure that uh, my mom arrives upstairs then uh, she calls me i'll have to go upstairs it's either me or my brother okay we first get our curries and uh, okay. uh, rice whatever is cooked on that day. yes yes and then we do it in turns we keep passing food and laundry that was not big not a big challenge but uh, i didn't do that before it yes. was long time ago something so. that we had never yeah. done before but not we had to done. change i would do but uh, doing chores and then following up so many things and then following your routine was uh, sort of you know i felt difficult but then it was challenging at the same time i learned something at the end of the day okay yeah. so every experience gives us some learnings right yeah so what about you hafiz uh, like Uh, How did you isolate yourself from your family members? Yes, like we have four rooms in our home, so I actually stayed in single room. So they have uh, passing food, like they have keep uh, inside the door, and I have taken. Okay, you take. You used to take and it. And also, like I put some water in my room also, so I clean my plate and everything, and then I passed it. So I sanitize also this plate also. Yes, everything has to be back. sanitized. Yeah, That was a crucial I part. In this way, actually, I have stayed alone inside my room, and there are thirteen or fourteen. So, other than you, any other family members who were infected with COVID-19 at your From home? From my family, actually, no one. No. Uh, okay. So there is a good thing. Actually. Yes, that's a good thing. Yes. Okay. So good and bad also at the same time because you I were. I think yeah. Bored. I my nephew I actually think. little bit uh, problem. He has some asthma problem. So we think that maybe she has. She's a small uh, little uh, baby. So I think that she may be affected. But later, doctor said no. She has like problem from before. That is, she is suffering. But. No, It's not with the COVID. Yeah, other than okay. she doesn't have any problem. Like, okay, and so these days when you were getting treated with COVID it, at home quarantine, how was that thing overall? Was it scary for you both guys, or how was it? Or uh, initially it was not like uh, scary for me. Like after seven or eight days, I think maybe something wrong. I I need I need to go hospital maybe. So I I'm thinking that maybe it would be better for me if I stay in hospital. Maybe I will be recovered soon. Okay. So, but uh, actually, this is the not like these things. Uh, this is a very like wh- I'm staying alone inside my room. That's why I'm like I'm facing some kind of mental. Yes, because you get different I'm, thoughts, I'm, right? Yeah, I'm, yes. Mentally, I'm feeling weak. Weak. Yeah, yes, I can. That is the main thing. Okay. Otherwise, there is no issue actually. So yeah, after thirteen days or fourteen days, uh, you will feel that you got tested again and you realize no, like, that. No, uh, like if you have uh, you don't have any symptom in like initially they have tested twice or thrice in our country. after passing 3 or 4 months uh, they have taken decision like uh, if someone uh, uh, did not face any uh, if the, some no, someone has not any symptom for ever, about 18 days or 19 days so they will declare then that he is uh, recovered from from covid, COVID okay yeah. okay I, so ramya how were I you i was i was panicking on day 1 because we had to i since i visited a pulmonologist uh we had to go to an ecg and then there was scanning i thought why would uh why would it be an issue why why should i go through such big tests uh, when i am mildly symptomatic yeah. but then it was their their strategy okay. of uh, getting bugs uh, but day one has uh, i was very scared and i was scared for my father who was in his isolation ward we were not allowed to visit personally it was only through either video uh, video calls. video calling or phone calls yeah. yes I was more worried about, about your father, about your dad, than yourself, or my brother, because we are young. We can, uh, we can, you can get recovered. Yeah, you know I that. Recover, yes. Really. I was worried about my dad. So uh, in the beginning, on day one, it was scary, but day two onwards, as uh, I've been educating myself with some kind of videos or anything, the uh, at the end of the uh, COVID, my entire period, what I've learned is the calmer you are. the better uh, the higher are your chances of recovery that too in a possible way it would yeah. the your, your ride is smoother if you're cool okay yeah so that was the motivation thing yeah. that you have kept yourself motivated and you stayed positive i did okay so how many after how many days like you know the symptoms of covid 19 you did not see in yourself like you felt like no i am good now 
I am not suffering from COVID. Did you realize any such things? That was on day five. Uh, I used to have a sore throat in the beginning. That has disappeared. I lost my sense of smell. There was lots of yeah. sense of taste also. On day two, days two or three, I had uh, aspect. Uh, let me tell you, anosmia is loss of smell. I learned that when I had COVID. Okay. Also, I had muscle pains. I couldn't lift a bucket of water. That was very hurting. Yeah. Okay, so that is something we got yeah, to know. Okay. She yes, she has mentioned a different those symptom that you know body weakness. Yeah. That you will not feel any it's smell. It's called an Three or four days you will not feel any smell. That is no. very very common issues. Very common yeah. issues. Yeah. Okay. So first is stop smell. Even if it is very pungent, you can't mm. smell ginger. Yeah. Yeah. That's and very common. a lemon. Also okay. That thing. happens when you're positive. And what about your food diet? Like, were you able to eat everything, or you didn't feel like eating it? What about the food? food? Uh, yeah, my mom made sure we ate COVID food, so it was not much. Uh, the more spicy, spicy in the sense, uh, I was on uh, vitamin C. I was eating chili very happily. Yeah, I didn't feel green the, chilies. Yes, green chili. I was eating very happily. I did not. Uh, you didn't. Yeah. Get the taste it of spiciness. It was not very spicy. It was not very spicy. We lost the sense of smell. So taste. No what about the taste? Like yeah, you didn't. Taste was also lost, uh, but. First, I lost the smell. Then it was the taste. But were you able to eat food regularly, or you yeah, didn't I feel was, like eating it? Any such symptoms? Thankfully, I did not have uh, much of sore throat, so uh, I avoided cold foods. I usually don't take much, so I avoided mm. cold foods, and that which increases the flim. I stayed away from all this. What about you, Hafiz? Like, were you uh, able to eat everything you want yeah, to, I or did, did I, you? I like that day when I, uh, I was like affected. So I, mm, I'm taking more fruits. That is okay. So like more uh, orange, so that I I can recover very. Uh, so vitamin C, uh, oranges, yeah, yes. Yeah, vitamin, vitamin C. And as we are like used to with fish, so I am taking more fishes and also vegetables. I am preferring this type of food so that I my immune power is increased and I can recover soon. So that is like. So you were I able think, to eat food. Yeah. Like what yeah. I'm trying to ask you is that that you were not able to have no, food no, also no, and no, there was no such issues. No, no such issues. Okay, so that's a good thing. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. Okay. And then the drugs which you were given, like which you were taking for COVID-19, did they had any kind of side effects on you? Not at all. I have faced some issues, like okay. I faced uh, dysentery problem, okay. okay. After seven or eight days, I felt dysentery problem and it's not like recovered and it's like continue. Before also I have faced this type of problem, but that time if I take medicine and it, uh, I easily recovered within three or four or five days. But uh, when I have affected uh, this corona and it continued nearly 17 or like it continued nearly 14 days. So they have given an antibiotic. Okay. So I, I till now I am facing this problem actually. Till now. Even I'm, till yeah, now till you now are facing, facing this problem. Yeah, this problem is continues nearly, nearly is uh, four or five months already over. So I am facing these issues till now. That is the one. That is one thing actually I am facing. I think it's long term effects on me. This only one thing. So Otherwise, other than it's, uh, everything is good. For you, Ramya, are you I, facing any side effects I of COVID? I have side effects because mine was diagnosed very early. Okay. Since I already had two members, my dad, he does have some side effects. But then uh, my brother and I have no side effects as such. And we were, we came out really, that was a beautiful recovery, I must say. That's the okay. thing, actually. Yeah. I, I because you got tested I, I a little earlier, early. so you have early, recovered it very early. nicely. We were early. So but but I, for me, actually, I have recovered maybe seven or 18, eight mm -hmm. days. A little after. After. That means I am already recovering that time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Day five onwards, it was it was like I was very much like how I was earlier. I was jumping around. Okay, that's nice. So, what advice would you like to give to the people who are infected with COVID nineteen? Advice in the sense, uh, preven prevention is better than cure. Now that the uh, lockdown has been eased. You do not go for, uh, you know, you don't, you do not take the situation for granted. Nobody is safe until everybody is safe. So until we achieve the herd immunity, nobody is safe. You could be, you can be infected. Even after the first shot is given, you are still susceptible. Even yeah. after after the second shot is given, you are You're still, still susceptible. susceptible. So don't so take anything think for, for granted. And we have to take all the necessary precautions. Yeah. precautions. So that we can stay away from this virus. from okay, covid psychological yes, like you have been recovered and there is also again chances yes uh, even after infected. recovering and getting infected again there are chances there of are reinfection chances. 
So it is better to take all the necessary precautions to avoid. Yeah. And the basic things are like you can wear a mask, you can yeah. use sanitizers, yeah. social distancing, and these food, are some basic. Food does play a real yeah, important Junk food, I try to avoid junk food. Okay. okay. Yeah. Try to yeah. take more vegetables so your immunity. Vegetables, fruits to build up yeah. your immunity. Yeah. Okay. Above all, you should stay strong, yeah. very strong. See, once you surrender to the disease, it is going to eat you up. I think it's for uh, every disease. Like it's for every, every disease, disease. But yes. Then but there then are studies which hmm. say that if you, you know, COVID actually increases your anger. There are studies. I've I've gone through this. Okay. I don't Something know which... if there's a solid evidence for that. Okay. But yeah, uh, this could be a pilot study. It actually increases your anger. The calmer you are, the calmer you, your composure is, the so your mental your stability. Yeah. You know, your mental you stability are, is very like, required. Uh, you yeah. are inside your own room actually so mm -hmm. it's kind of feeling anxious, anxious yeah. why i'm staying in uh, this 13 or 14 days inside this room i'm not able to get outside of this room so yeah it kind of mental weakness you, you will suffer you have to be uh, calm and you have to face this issue in a nice way so that you can recover yes yeah. so any difficulties that we have in our life you know we have to face it with all determination and a strong willpower mm -hmm. so that's it. It was very nice talking to you, Ramya and Hafiz. Thank you so much you. for sharing with us the experience of COVID-19, the struggle which you both went through. And it will be very helpful for people who might get infected with COVID-19. So because the battle is still on, though the vaccine has come, but we have a long way to go yet. There is always light at the end of the tunnel. Let's all pray and hope for a better world and a healthier world without COVID-19. So this was a conversation with Ramya and Hafiz talking about their experiences in fighting COVID-19. So here I'm signing off your host, Madhuri. Thank you.